tell you my story and, and my journey here at the, uh, at the Heart Institute over the past couple of years. It actually started about uh, early 2010. I was traveling overseas quite a bit and uh, about mid-February uh, 2010 I returned to Houston. Um, a few days after I returned I was, I was feeling bad. I, I was I had symptoms, shortness of breath, and I, uh, I actually ignored those and blamed it on, on jet lag. Um, so the, uh, the symptoms continued, and on February the 22nd, Monday morning, I was at my office, and about 9.30, it, uh, it got to a point where I knew it was more than jet lag. So I contacted the, uh, the Texas Heart Institute, and uh, they advised me immediately to get over here. I, uh, I got here. About the time I arrived, I had a massive heart attack. Um, I was very fortunate to be, to be at the right place at the right time. I had several blocked arteries, uh, one of them 100% blocked. Uh, several of them 60, 70, 80 percent blocked. So they, they put some stents in me and, uh, and I recovered and was in intensive care for a few days. I learned that about 40 percent of my heart was damaged. One of the options that was given to me was the uh, stem cell option. Um, now they brought in the specialist from the Heart Institute and, and, and we talked about it for several hours and I learned a lot about it. I, uh, and I opted to go that route. Within 72 hours, they had run the test. Uh, they, had, uh, they had given me the stem cells. That was February 25th, 2010, about two years and three months ago. They went into my own hip bone, they extracted the bone marrow, and from that they extracted the, uh, the stem cells. Subsequently, they went back uh, through my artery and injected the stem cells into, uh, into my heart. Simple procedure, very simple procedure. Subsequently, immediately after the heart attack, I learned that my ejection fraction, which is a measurement of the output of your heart, was below 40, which apparently is not very good. Um, subsequent to the stem cell uh, program and the last checkup I had, which was about six months ago, my ejection fraction had increased to 55%. So with just the stem cells, the change in diet, uh, exercise, uh, my, my ejection fraction has increased. I'm feeling better than I ever have and, uh, and I'm staying the course. One bit of advice that I can give, which is when you have symptoms, when you have signs, when your body changes, you need to listen to it. So I was 53 years old when I had this heart attack. Never in a million years thought I'd ever have one. It happened, scared me. Um, didn't know what I was getting into. But I was real fortunate to learn about this stem cell program and even more fortunate to be able to get into the program and uh, truly blessed that I'm, I'm here. <laughs>